So in this project, I'm going to be working on this really cool Baxter and Sons US elevator panel. So this came from a three stop elevator. So one, two, and three. There's the door open, four key switches, alarm, and the emergency stop. And there's the Baxter and Sons logo, along with the capacity is in orange, which I think is kind of cool. It's not the first time I've seen orange Baxter and Sons logos. But in this project, I am going to be cleaning up and wiring this panel. So let's get started. So as for the cleanup, there really won't be that much to do. Just taking a quick look at the panel, it's not really in that bad of shape. So a wipe down is pretty much all that's really going to be needed for this. There's a little bit of dirt down here, but that should come off nice and easily. So the actual cleanup of this won't be that in depth. It's just gonna be quite simple. There are some scratches up here on the three button. Unfortunately, I can't do a whole lot about that. And the emergency stop is in good shape too. This one's in a lot better shape than the Elmwood panel we have in the museum. So turning it to the back, we can see all of the components. And I've shown some US stuff before, but nothing really with the key switches or anything like that. So as for the buttons, these are just like regular US buttons. They've got the metal mounting brackets here that hold it down, the micro switch here. So when you press in on the button, it pushes down on that, completes the circuit. But as for the key switches, uh, the way these work is there is this metal bar here. And when you put the key in and turn it, it hits the switch. Fairly simple and it works. It can be kind of a pain to move sometimes. That's just how these key switches are, but each one is that same kind of design. And the stop switch is pretty much the same idea as the button. However, instead of having a contact on the side, you'll see that there's a plastic piece that sticks up in the middle and connects to this toggle switch. And when you pull it, it does this. It just pulls the toggle switch down, which would activate it. So now it's time to begin with the wiring. So one of the things I'm going to do is remove a lot of these excess wires, more of just trim them down because there's a lot of wires just kind of sticking off this panel. You know, ones like this we don't need. I might unsolder, or that one just kind of broke off. I might unsolder some of these wires, clean it up a little bit. As for up here, there is a huge mess going on here, but the idea is fairly simple. The outer two pins are for the normally open contact. So it looks like on each of these, one end of the lamp holder is already connected to one end of the switch, which is good. So that means I just have to connect all of these together. And it kind of looks like I'd probably just do that with a wire nut. So that would save me some soldering. And then I just gotta connect all these together. I'm also going to be adding in an alarm beeper, which I haven't tried these beepers out yet. So they could be really great or they could be terrible. I have no idea. So I will have to solder some new wires onto here to attach the beeper somewhere. So as for the lamps in here, I don't think that they are low enough voltage to run off nine volts. So I'll stick some new bulbs in there, some lower voltage ones that will light up just nicely. So it is time to start with wiring. So now the wiring and cleanup is complete and this project is now done. So each of the floor buttons lights up and turning off the bright light makes it a bit easier to see. So each of these light up, looks really nice. Door open doesn't do anything. The alarm though does. It has a very, very loud beeper that I put on there, which is pretty cool. So that is it for this project. This wasn't really that difficult of a project, which is always nice. I'm really happy with the way this came out, the working alarm and the floor buttons. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you on the next project.